Ooh. All right, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna. Um, so today's gonna be a little bit of a different video that I have ever done before. I'm gonna be doing like a story time video, and I don't normally do this, but some stuff has been happening over the past like eight years, and something recently just happened that like kind of confirmed it all and I think I just need some advice and I need other opinions. I've been asking like everybody I know about this and I just need a bigger audience to ask this question. Basically this video is going to be very very long. I'm sorry for it. Grab some popcorn because it's probably gonna be very entertaining. See how psycho I am about this. But I just thought I had to record it. This basically all has to do with ghosts. I am a person that I believe in ghosts. I will just say that. I believe in like spirits and all that whatever that shit like actually scares the show to me but i do believe in it all and i believe that there are good and bad ghosts and all that whatever else you know so this video i think you're just gonna have to take my word for it there's no reason that i'd be sitting here lying about it but these are just experiences that have happened in my life and i feel like other like some stories that i'm going to tell are more like even to myself are more believable than other ones but basically these are all just a collage of stories that all lead up to this one thing and i'm just gonna say i had lived at my grandma's house for like the majority of my life, like well, up until I was 18, we had alternated weekends. My parents are divorced. That's a whole other story. I want to do some background research on her house to see who died there because something is happening. I guess I'm just gonna do this like in chronological order. The first ghost story or whatever that or like situation that had happened was when I was younger, and it actually wasn't my own story. My brothers, there are several levels to the house and it's a tuck under garage so the garage is under my grandma's room and there's a hallway, a landing, 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 front door and then there's like the living room over here. It's kind of hard to explain, just try to picture it in your head, I know it's kind of annoying. Three older brothers, two of the brothers were down in the garage so under my grandma's room and under that hallway and one brother was sleeping in the living room and they were like younger more so, whatever this was like what, eight years ago, nine years ago, and it was just my three brothers home and they were working in the car down in the garage. They heard someone running up and down the hallway, like into my grandma's room and whatever else, and they were like, thought that it was my brother running up there to like check if the cars were gone to see if my brothers left him there. My brother's like, oh shit, like, let me go tell Chris that we're still here. Our brother goes upstairs. Chris was in the same exact spot sleeping as they had left him. <laughs> and then when he walks up there, he's standing at the bottom landing by the front door and he hears someone run up into that hallway and he's like what the fuck <laughs> so he goes downstairs tells my brother my brother's like you're fucking like you're fucking with me you're pulling my leg like whatever it's like no dude come upstairs they go upstairs and they're standing there they see chris sleeping and they see some or they hear someone run down that hallway and jump off the top step and it's like a three step and then like landing. So it's like a little, it's a little step. But it's like a very distinct sound that we all know because we used to do it when we were kids. So they leave, whatever, whoever believed the story, whoever didn't believe the story, but it happened. So I heard that story years later and they said they never wanted to tell me because I was too young and I was gonna be scared. Facts, you're right. I was going to be scared. <laughs> um, but they ended up telling me the story, whatever. And then my dad had brought up stories. I don't know, like sometimes I like, don't know if they're pulling my leg or not, but I'm pretty sure my dad confirmed the story. So down in my basement, there we have like a bathroom and there is a medicine cabinet that has sliding mirrors in it. It's like a cheap thing. It's not like this very luxurious thing and the mirrors slide, you can take them out. And it's like right above the toilet. So my dad would always say that like the mirrors were taken out and they would be like, there's like a, in the laundry room too, there's like all one big thing. He, the mirrors would be like hidden in between clothes. And stuff like that. Dad was like, get mad at the boys, like, stop fucking with the mirrors, like, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, we're not. And he's like, yeah, okay, like, whatever. And it happened, like, several different times. And then one time, he was, like, going in the bathroom. He looked up in the mirror or whatever. And then he looked back up, and the mirrors were gone. And he was like, what the fuck? And my grandma lives there all the time, and she always says that she sometimes, like, hears, like, me saying, like, oh, me, or something like that. Like, she can hear sometimes, like, just, like, she'll hear little things. But, like, who knows? That could be another whole thing, too. Like, who knows? Like, there's always stuff that's, like, whatever. And up until I was, like, 14, sorry, <laughs> I would sleep with my grandma in her room. I had my own room there, my own bed and everything, but I just would sleep with her because I felt more comfortable that way. And this house is kind of, like, not scary, but, like, 
we come from like a very German heritage so it's a lot of like hutches and like older things like that and like you know it's like this very modern house that you feel like I mean, it's, all, it's very cozy but it's like if this house is gonna be haunted it's gonna be this house you know what I mean <laughs> so my grandpa would sleep on like a reclining chair in the same room which is just like sounds weird but like it happened <laughs> and we'd all me and my grandma would stay up all night talking 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 she's always up she's never sleeping like fully through the night my grandpa would always like talk and we we're like oh he talks in his sleep whatever but there was this one time that he was sitting there or he was sleeping there whatever and he's talking and my grandma's always like oh what are you talking about like we're like messing with him kind of and he's like I'm not even kidding talk to us like we were crazy he's like she's like who are you talking to he's like what do you mean and we're like well, who are you talking to? He's like, the little boy. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. like, what little boy? He's like, the one standing right there. I was so scared, dude. And my Omi had told me one morning that she's like, yeah, I was, you were sleeping. And there's like a tall lamp in the corner. It's like all up in this one area of the house. It's like the really sketchiness. It's like this corner of the house. And she's like, yeah, I was, you were sleeping. And I was just laying here. And that lamp turned on. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, absolutely not, dude. They have had several instances since of this lamp randomly turning on. It's not like a twist lamp, like you turn on like this, you like push it and it's like that one piece that goes through. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like one of those that like, you push it. So it, ha it happened like random times like, it would click on, but one time my, gra my grandma was like, can you turn the lamp on? And he's like, yeah. So he got up to go turn the lamp on and it clicked on like right before he touched it. Rid of this lamp, we're gonna get a new fucking lamp. <laughs> so they went and got a lamp that has a twist thing and I feel like it's not as easy for like spirits to do it. Do you know what I mean? Like it was just like a, it wasn't like a twist. Like I feel like it's so much easier for spirits because I feel like they can only do so much or something. Like the thing about this house is my, I have three older brothers, my dad, my grandma, and my opa. We all lived in this house. Like periodically we would go every weekend or whatever else. But like there was always someone in the house. Like it was, it's rare that there's nobody home at that point of our lives. Getting so now it's, comes more often because people are moving out like I moved out and the whatever else so when you're there alone it is a very very eerie feeling and it's creepy you know all the creaks and whatever else is like there's other people in the house that you would not think of so like I feel like there's so much that we have missed because there's always someone in the house do you know what I mean so this kind of house like if you are walking around at night if no one's in the house you have the worst feeling that you're just being watched and I know that's like everything but this house particularly it's over the top creepy like it's over the top I have a room right next to my grandma's room and it's up in the end of that hallway and I so I started sleeping there at like 14 I started sleeping by myself I would be sleeping there and I always slept with my TV on because I couldn't sleep without noise like it was scared it was scary it's just like a creepy house sorry if you can hear the birds outside my house oh my house is that annoying whatever I would lay there and whatever else and you know I'd hear Almost as if someone was just like kind of like hanging out outside my door. But I had always thought like, oh my gosh, it's my grandma. Like, you know, there's so many excuses for it. It's just like, you know, I don't, I never slept in that house when there wasn't someone home. Now I'm thinking about it and I'm like scared because I think there was times that it wasn't my grandma. So our more recent stories, like three years ago, my brother Derek, my oldest brother, he was in the house by himself. He was waiting to go to class or something like that. He was in the kitchen and I'll explain the kitchen. You're standing in the kitchen. Here's the fridge. And there's a door over here that goes up to a dining room and then there's a door right here and it goes up into that hallway so it's like you can stand at the fridge and if you look right you can see up into the hallway directly up into my omi's room if her door's open and then right around the fridge if you go like this and like look around the fridge it goes down a couple stairs into the living room and or into like the living room and then like the front door when you're standing at the fridge it's like someone's looking at you in the hallway like someone's standing in the hallway staring at you and it's a continuous feeling and every time i get like creeped out and he's the only one home and he hears someone go, hey, just like that. Like, not like, hey, hey, but it's like, hey, or it's like soft, hey. And he's like, what the fuck? So he like, kind of like peeks down the hallway. That's where he hears it coming from, like almost like the bathroom. Hey. And he's like, okay, like he kind of like, you know, and then he would turn away and he would hear it again. He's like, what the fuck? He heard it like three times. And then he was like, okay, I'm fucking with myself, like, whatever. Like, and he thought, like, he even said, apparently, like, he thought, like, one of my other brothers was home trying to fuck with him. And he was like, all right, like, I know you're here, like, whatever. No answer. <laughs> no fucking chance. And then he kind of, like, laughed, like, I'm, I'm stupid. Like, I'm just, like, messing with myself. So he goes like that. He goes to turn away, like, out of the entryway there. 
he goes to turn away back into the kitchen, like away from the hallway. And all of a sudden, he hears someone take like two steps. The same sound that he had heard in the past. He stops, doesn't look back. He hears someone, more steps, jump off the top step. And he said he felt the floor rumble under his feet. No, no thank you, dude. No thank you. He immediately freaks out leaves the house and just goes to school like super early. When he was telling the story, I believed him. And he was like, it was the same exact sound that he'd heard so how many ever years ago. Oh my gosh, no wait. Oh, sorry, I suck at telling stories. Before this, like a month or two before this, I was in my room and I had been sleeping. This is what like validated my story because everybody thought I was crazy. And then this happened to Derek and he's like, I believe you. And I was like, <laughs> I know. So then I was sleeping in my room. I was sleeping with the TV on. I was laying there, I was laying on my side like this, facing out into my room. And I was sleeping with the TV on, and my TV, if it ever turns off, usually like my grandma's there, or the cable box will shut off, but the TV will still say no signal. Like it'll still be on. Or my grandma had shut it off. I wake up one night, and it was almost like because I woke up because my TV was off or something like that. I don't know if the TV has anything to do with it, but I was fucking scared. So my TV was off, I woke up, you know, but I stayed like this woke up and I was like and I realized my TV was off and I'm like going like this I'm like sleeping I'm like looking I'm like doing this I'm like I almost I heard like a like a shuffle kind of thing I don't know but I heard like some kind of shuffling like someone was walking towards me and I was looking 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 if I could like see someone like, is something like walking towards me right now it was like pitch dark in my room I'm like looking like is this just me fucking with me I Look, look, and also I think someone's coming towards me. I scream, put my blanket over my head. <laughs> and I'm like waiting for my grandma to be like, oh, Anna, it's me, like, what's wrong, you know? And I was like, nothing. I'm... Okay. <laughs> yell for my grandma, because I'm so scared. Doesn't come the first time I yell for her name. I'm Omi, like, whatever. She comes in, she's like, Anna? And I'm like... Turn my light on. And I told her the whole story. I made her sleep with me. I was so scared. And she's like, yeah, I didn't come the first time because sometimes I think I hear you say my name at night. <laughs> what? Whatever. So that had happened. Everybody thought I was crazy or whatever. And then this had happened to Derek weeks later, like a month later. And then he was like, I believe you. And I was like, thank you because I'm fucking dying. I'm by my own hair. You're scared for like a week maybe. But it's like always in the back of your head like, what the fuck? <laughs> Little stuff would happen even before then mixed into everything. Like my best friend Hannah was sleeping over. She would talk in her sleep. She always talks in her sleep. But like one time we were, she was laying next to me and I used to like stay up a lot longer than her, like a lot later than her. She would fall asleep like next to me in my bed and she was talking in her sleep and I was like, oh my gosh, like literally told me, gosh, like I hate my life. And she was like, she's like pushing someone off of her in her sleep. I'm like, <sighs> Like sitting next to this bitch, like what the fuck? <laughs> Laying in my bed. And she's like trying to push someone off her. She's like, no, get off me. Like, stop it. And it was the creepiest thing. Like, who knows what she was dreaming, but like, it was like, is someone standing over my bed right now? So that had happened. There was a time that we were both sleeping and my TV was off. I know my TV was off. We were both sleeping there and it was just like fucking people were talking. Like, it was just like someone was talking or laughing or something like that, like outside my room. Someone was just laughing. Everybody was asleep. My Omi, like, no one heard this noises except for me and Hannah. And we're sleeping. And we hear someone just talking, 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 dude. And I'm like, oh my god. And, like, we were sleeping, though. But it was almost like you're awake or whatever. Also, and Hannah, she's doing the same thing. She screams, dude. I'm saying screams. She screams, oh my gosh, shut up. Super loud. And then I yelled, Hannah. Because I didn't want her to, like, wake up anybody. My grandma heard us do that but didn't hear anybody else's voice, bro. Were we possessed? There's little things like that. Like I just like, they're weirdly like unexplainable. Almost exactly a year later. So this last fall, this had happened to me. Was it the last? Yeah, last fall. I had gone home from lunch one day and I only had like an hour or whatever. I go home, I'm FaceTiming Hannah on the phone. So sometimes I'll just like FaceTime her on my lunches. FaceTiming her, we're just talking, bullshitting, whatever. I walk into the garage downstairs. I see my, or my grandma's car isn't there. I'm like, Great, I'm in the fucking house alone. And I even said, and it's like messed up, dude. I even said, I opened the door, I'm like, hi ghost. Like, I'm kidding. I made a joke. I'm like FaceTime Hannah, <laughs> you know? 
And I go upstairs, I'm in the kitchen, I'm like looking in the fridge. I'll like open the fridge and just like stare at it, you know, I do that thing like, what am I gonna eat? There's like nothing in the fridge, but there's like everything. <laughs> On the phone with Hannah. And I'm just talking like, talking, talking, like laughing, like whatever. Like, I doesn't even know where I'm telling our story or something. And in the back of my head, I think. What the fuck is that noise? And this noise was going on for minutes at least, dude. Someone walking up the stairs. Like, it was like that exact same noise. Like, someone's walking up from downstairs, walking up the landing. It's like footsteps clear as fucking day, dude. You live in a house long enough, you know what your house sounds like. Stop talking. I shut the fridge. Dead cold face, dude. Peek my head out from outside the, from the fridge like this. Looking down at the front door. Like, the other couple landings. I look out. Stop, dude. I'm standing there. Instantly cry. <laughs> I'm instantly crying. And Hannah's like, what? And I instantly start bawling my eyes out, grab my keys, and just book it out the door. And I was like, what just happened? And I'm like, <laughs> fucking bawling my eyes out. Instantly, just like a disgusting feeling. Like, I was like, I literally peeked my head out and it stopped. Like, it was just like, I don't know. Like, I like, got in its way or something. I was like, <gasps> to this day, will not go in that house if no one's home. Unless I'm like running and grabbing something. And I had to be on the phone with someone. So there's little things here and there too, but they're nothing like big like that. Let me just tell you what happened last week. This was what made me make this video. I have a security camera. You know, I believe in it. So they're called orbs. People believe them to be spirits and like whatever else, like entities or whatever you want to call it. Let me see if there's like a definition of an orb. Orbs formerly called spirit orbs are those semi-transparent white balls seen floating around in many photographs taken in ghostly locations orbs are probably the most photographed type of anomaly so like there's like a fine line if a ghost is an orb or not okay i believe it it's kind of creepy but i feel like a lot of people mistake dust particles as orbs basically the camera's hooked up to his laptop or whatever and he has this thing where it alerts him every time there is movement in like a frame of the photo or the video <sighs> So my dad got this alert, let me just tell you, the devil's hour, 3.16 a.m. The only thing moving it is a fucking orb! Let me just play this clip for you and put it over here or some shit. A 10 second clip here, but it comes out of the left corner, there's an orb, bro. There is an orb, it floats around in the back, over by boxes, it kind of like blinks, not blinks, but like it gets faded and more faded, and then it wraps around boxes, by the garbage cans, and then it goes into the car, kinda, or like over th And this is right under my grandma's room. Tell the difference between a dust particle and orbs. This one floats around. Dust particles, when I see them, they're like more scattery. Like they're like, they move a little bit quicker. So whatever, you know, for everybody out there, please comment below if you think it is an orb or if it's bullshit. And please only comment if you believe in it. I don't want, like, I don't care if you don't believe. <laughs> I believe in it. I think it's a thing. If you believe in it, please comment if you think that is a legit orb. And let me tell you, this is an infrared camera that is used and that's what you can see orbs on is infrared cameras. <sighs> but anyways, thank you for watching my video and listening to me ramble on. Yeah, thank you again for watching this video and I will see you guys on the next one. Let me know if you want to hear more story time videos.